Okay, this is uh, another sort of how-to repair video. Fixing my Dodge Ram. And as everyone that owns a Ram knows or has a little history, this trucks have a common problem with the second generation. Uh, the plenum gasket tends to go bad. From what I'm told, the intake and the plate it sits on are different metals. In the winter, the metal constricts. In the summer, it extracts thus causing a breakage in the gasket. So you can go to a website, APS or Hughes something, and get a kit where they give you a new plenum plate. You can always just change the gasket, but then you're going to have that problem again once you get a certain amount of miles on it. So I got the plate, and I got the gasket. So hopefully that will fix it for life. That's what I'll be doing today. I already took my dog's tail in the way. The airbox off. Getting set up here. I got my TV on a tripod. Uh, obviously, not much. Just take the ring ring apart. Take the ring off the thing. Air box pops right off. Bent that out of the way. Once the truck cools down, I'll be taking off the radiator hoses and accessories. And we'll see if this actually turns out to be an actual video, not a not a major screw up. Oh, uh, in addition, I'm also going to be taking out the headliner, which is sagging happens a lot and the carpet's in real nasty dirty I'm gonna take the carpet out clean it up nice it's a cheap way to do it I saw it on TV so the seats got to come out all the accessories holding in the headliner got to come out this will be a four-day project starting Friday I got no work till till Wednesday hopefully it'll be done by then quick update uh, basically I just took apart uh, you know all the little cables that hook up to this bracket here uh, you know, it's mostly clips. Just pop them off. Uh, took off the... I'm not really sure how the fuel rail works, but... Popped off the plug to the injectors. I got the bolts out for the fuel rail. It's not popping out just yet. But, uh... I'm sure as everything starts to come apart, I'll figure that out. Uh, obviously the belt had to come off. Just kind of tucking everything to the side here. Right now I'm taking apart the uh, AC compressor. Two big bolts here and there. Once you take those out, there's a bracket here. This thing is ready to come out. As you can see, it's jiggling. I just gotta move this radiator hose, which is gonna be the messy part, because usually there's fluid up there. But it's gotta be done, so you wanna put a, something underneath, because dogs, cats like ethylene glycol, they, they get attracted to it and die, so. Okay, uh, basically I got the alternator out. Like I said the AC just kind of lifted right up. Once I got that radiator hose off, you see where the mess is. And I'm actually going to be changing that thermostat. For some reason the stock thermostat runs at like 200, 220. In my opinion, that's too hot for any engine. So put a 180 in there, this way it's not too cold. I'm not looking for performance here, just want to extend the life of the engine. Too much heat is bad, but too cold can also be bad as well. Uh, the only thing tip I can give you right now is the alternator has this nasty little plug on it with these nasty little tiny little nuts. I think it was a 930 second socket, which I think I put back. In any case, so yes, you will have to take that off for the alternator to slide out. Unless you wanted to just bend it out of the way. I wanted it out so I can get this wiring harness out of my way because I'm actually going to be doing the valve seals as well so I'm going to take my valve cover off I want to clear all this shit out of the way so next thing is something that work on this bracket here this bracket here has to come off because the plenum is here and the bracket's kind of in the way so you take in any bolt that looks like it connects it to the engine itself okay well I took the hose out and took the thermostat out a lot of glunk uh, Gudge, grudge, sludge, whatever it was. So maybe that was why the truck was running a little hot. I'm gonna get a new one anyway. So the thermostat goes, pops right out. Make sure you clean the gasket material off. That hose looked kind of new. It actually popped off. A lot of people gotta cut that hose. It's actually in a stupid position. But I got all the bolts out of the plenum, I believe. So we're gonna see if it pops right off. Hopefully it does. 
If you guys do this a lot, you know uh, nothing ever goes according to plan. It's not budging easily. My head's moving. Alright. It's not moving easily, I might have to pry it up. But uh, I might be missing a bolt, so. If it comes off, I'll show you. First speed bump of the day. Definitely was a bolt left. Once that bolt cracked, banged it with a hammer a little bit, jarred right loose. Got it out. The only thing holding it now is the fuel line. And I have no clue how to get it off. So once I figure it out, maybe I'll show you. <laughs> and uh, that thing should be out once I pull that off somehow. Down. So thanks to my friends at DodgeForum.com. I figured out that that requires a, get this, fuel line removal tool for about 15 bucks. Nothing like spending useless money, right? So other than that, once that's off, plenum comes off, take care of the gaskets, and then it's on to the valve seals. So since I'm stuck because A, my vehicle's out of commission, my ride is at work, and I can't get that tool, I'm going to start working on the seats, take the seats out. Working on the carpet and headliner. Uh, I'll probably split this up into a two part video. But that's where we're at with this bad boy. Okay, day two. Figured out how to get that fitting off. They conveniently make a fuel line disconnect tool. Okay, now don't let this simple design fool you. I've been here for an hour now and I just got it apart. Uh, you have to put this here. I actually was sitting in the engine bay to get the lever I needed. Push it as hard as you can and wrestle with it and finally that thing popped off. So, needless to say, this is what we've been waiting for. So, you go like this. I gotta go back to the gym. <laughs> Just down for a second. This is what the whole project's for. I got fuel spilling out of this thing. There we go. All right. And that's it. Plenum's out. Get out. Uh, as a, obviously, you can see why they call it the half keg. I really wish I had a keg here right now. I guess that'll do. Product placement, Bud Light. Okay, I'm getting off track. So, obviously I'm gonna have to change the, put some new uh, intake manifold gaskets in now that I pulled it apart. Although they actually look pretty good. <laughs> There's two ways to do this, basically you can chance it and put it back or just do it right, do it once, do it right. So we'll replace those in due time. Okay, plenum gasket, this is what the problem is. At least I think it's a problem. Okay. There's a lot of fuel coming out of that. Obviously, you can see there's a lot of a lot of sludge here. Uh, you can't really see any blowouts, but if it didn't blow out yet, it would. It will. So we're gonna. Take that apart, clean it up, put my new kit in. 